and then we're gonna make another class and this time it's a bit different because we are not gonna make an activity but we will only create a java class so we're not gonna create this layout so from here right click and new and here so you can choose this one java class i'm gonna name this story story class in this story class we're gonna type all the story narrative kind of things and first we're gonna create a constructor so public story and we want to get this game screen class because we want to access this image text button from this story class so let's receive this game screen class from here game screen gs and also declare the class here game screen gs this dot gs equal gs and uh, also let's go to this game screen again and uh, instantiate this story story equal new story and uh, let's pass this game screen class here to the constructor of this story class okay so now we can access everything in this game screen class okay then uh, let's make another method public void and I'm gonna name this as a starting point so this is basically the starting location so where the game start first we're gonna type some text for this starting location then uh, we're gonna set these button names so we're gonna access this game text view first so it's in the game screen class so first type gs dot game text oh, what was it oh yeah this one text text dot set text so we're gonna type uh, like an opening narrative dialogue and so this is just a sample text so you know please don't expect like, high quality writing or anything i'm sure you can create a a lot better story hmm. anyway so I'm gonna type like this you are on the road there is a wooden sign nearby and uh, line break and what will you do and then let's change the text on these buttons so first gs dot bottom one dot set text uh, so the first choice go north set text the second choice go east and uh, the third choice is go west and uh, oops four, set text uh, it's gonna be read the sign so you have four choices okay so this is the starting location so let's call this method from this game screen so we're gonna use this story story dot uh, starting point okay so let's check this and let's start hmm you are on the road there is a wooden sign nearby go north go east go west read the sign okay i think i want to add one more line break here yeah i think this is better and maybe you noticed but uh, the text on this button are all written in upper letter i don't know why but uh, it seems this is the default setting for these buttons so if you want to display the text with a lower letter then you can change it so first uh, let's clip 
this game screen and uh, here you can type like this okay, bottom, bottom one dot set transformation method and not wait why not formation formation method no we are let's add this to bottom two three four as well two three four yeah so like this so either way is fine so it's just your preference but uh, yeah i just wanted to let you know there is a way to do it so let's go back to this story class and the next is we're gonna create a uh, four string variables in this story class so st string and i'm gonna name this as uh, next position one next position two next position three and next four position four and here we type like this so next position one equal monster and uh, next position two equal uh, four So what this means, so this basically indicates what's going to happen next if you click one of these buttons. So in this case, if you click go north, then uh, you will encounter a monster. And if you go east, then you will find sword and uh, go west, you will find a gigantic pipe and the, and the sign. And uh, first, let's take care of this, read the sign. So uh, I'm gonna make another method called uh, sign and here so we can just basically copy this and paste and uh, yeah we can change these things. So assuming we chose this read the sign button this sign says monster ahead and uh, bottom text is just back and nothing on these three buttons next position is starting point and uh, also this time we want to change the image here and so to do that, so this time we're gonna use this one, image view, game image view. So we're gonna access this image. To change the image, uh, you type like this, set image resource and r dot, this time not id but drawable and dot uh, this time I'm gonna choose sign so this R means a resource and this drawable means this one and this sign means uh, yeah this one sign picture so by typing like this you can set an image but still even if you click this read the sign nothing happens because we haven't set on click on these uh, four buttons so that's what we're gonna do next so since these four buttons are game screen so let's select this game screen java class and from here so just like we did for the start button we're gonna set a method like this first uh, bottom one and uh, again view view import and uh, let's make this first two three four bottom two and bottom three 
bottom four and go to this layered sc screen and uh, set on click choose this bottom one and uh, bottom two four bottom two bottom three four bottom three and bottom four four bottom four okay so now we can type kind of an action result for these buttons but before do that let's go back to this story class and uh, we're gonna make one more method here to you know kind of correspond to these buttons public void and not pubic public void and I'm gonna name this method as a select position and uh, get parameter string as a position and here make switch with this position and uh, okay. first case is uh, start let's copy this starting point starting point and call this starting point method oops i forgot to add break and the next one is uh, sign and let's call this sign method sign and break okay it's okay for now and then let's go back to this game screen so we're gonna call that select position method type dot story dot uh, select position and uh, pass story dot next position one the next position is uh, yeah this one this one and this one and let's copy this paste paste and so for button 2 we're gonna pass next position 2 and 3 and 4 so for example if you are at this starting point this method automatically set this for string and uh, okay, if you click this bottom four, which means this one, bottom four, then it's gonna call this select position method and pass this next position four. So means uh, this one, sign. So this sign comes from here and here, then here. And so it's gonna call this sign method. So you can, you know, kind of move to this sign method so yeah let's check this okay start and uh let's choose this read the sign okay so now this sign method gets called and uh so image changes text changes and this button text too and if you click this back then you can oops so you can go back to this uh, starting point but uh, so you, yeah we need to change the image again so copy this and uh, uh, so the, the first image is this trail so instead of this sign but uh, let's uh, use this trail this one okay now it should be fine uh, okay read the sign and the back okay so like this and also this is just an optional but uh, if you don't want to show these unused buttons then you can do it so yeah from here you can type like this so gs dot button to set visibility and then view dot invisible this one so this way this button 2 becomes invisible yeah like for button 3 and 4 as well 
Okay, so let's see. Yeah, like this. Well, I think this looks better. And also, if you go back, then uh, you need to show all the buttons again. So this time you can type gs dot button two dot set visibility and uh, view dot. This time not invisible but visible. So this way the button shows up again. And four. Yeah, so like this. But I think uh, this is okay. But uh, this way you need to type this kind of thing in every method whenever you know you need to make the button show up. So I think I'm gonna make a specific method here. Name this as a show all buttons method and uh, so inside of this method I'm gonna move this here and also add uh, button one as well so whenever you want to show all the buttons you just need to call this method so I think this is a bit easier. Either way is fine though. So let's check this. Uh, start and read and back. Okay, looks fine now. So we took care of this read the sign button. So yeah, and I think uh, I'm gonna take care of this go west next. 